Good morning, I'm Brittany Floyd and I'd like to welcome you to our second annual Bridge Builders Conference. Our theme this year is Creating Lasting Change, which is a part of our vision and mission of our credit union and our CEO Bill Wells to be a financial partner to our members and communities we serve. We thank you so much for being a part of our morning and hope you enjoy our event. We'd like to get a few housekeeping items out of the way first before we begin. If you can please mute your devices, and if you'd like to engage with us or ask questions throughout the conference, you can do so in the comments via Facebook Live or through the chat feature on Zoom. We will be giving away several prizes throughout the conference, and a little secret that the prizes do get bigger throughout, so you'll want to stick around. If you are a, a winner of our prizes, you can make sure if you are local, you can pick up the prizes at our main office, or if you're not local, we'll, we'll make sure that the prizes are uh, mailed to the address on file. And we'd like to take a moment to acknowledge our sponsors this morning who this conference would not be possible without. Our sponsors are Southern Ale House, Pierce Bevel, Southmark Design, Print Resources, Drake Printers, Allied Solutions, and several others that will be mentioned throughout this year's conference. Next up, I'd like to introduce you to your host today, Mr. Martin Houston, who leads our insurance agency and financial wellness efforts at our credit union alongside Ms. Jackie Johnson. Martin, come on up. Thank you, Brittany. Good morning, and once again, uh, my name is Martin Houston. Welcome to the 2020 virtual Bridge Builders Conference, really looking forward to a great day. I want to just give you a quick, uh, why are we here? Why do we do this? Uh, the vision of our CEO is that we are a resource to the communities and the members uh, that we serve. And this year, thanks to the virtual nature, we're not just hitting Tuscaloosa, West Alabama, state of Alabama, but we have people as far away as Washington uh, State and uh, Florida and Georgia and so uh, this is really exciting uh, to be a part of it but th there, there's four things that, that we want to do we want to uh, encourage uh, those of us who may be in a situation or circumstance that requires encouragement we want to educate you provide you information that hopefully uh, helps you understand better about where you are in life and, and the different things that you're facing we also want to make sure we equip you uh, with uh, the tools to be successful. And the last thing uh, I think that wraps all of that up is to empower you to be the best you you can be. So that's, that's what we do. And our main three focused uh, target groups is faith, faith-based. This started off as this is a faith-based conference. And so you, you may hear a, a lot about uh, spiritual things and, and how our faith can incorporate, be incorporated we're also targeting education, uh, the education segment, uh, and thank all of those educators who are out there right now that uh, have been uh, on the front line in this pandemic. Thank you so much. And then last is community leaders slash the business segment, but mostly nonprofits from the community segment. So that's who we're targeting. Uh, and uh, we thank all of you for being a part of today's program. Uh, I want to remind you up front, and we'll do this throughout each and every segment that we have today, there'll be opportunities for you to ask questions, so please put them in the comment section or the chat section so that our speakers will be able to interact with you. Even though it's virtual, it's still interactive, so please make sure uh, that you participate in that way. At this time, uh, we're going to kick off our event with our, our special uh, guest who keynote opening things up for us, Mr. Tim Alexander. Uh, I love uh, the saying, he says, you don't need it to be easy. You just need it to be possible. And, and Tim's going to share a lot of his story. So I won't tell too much about his bio so he can get into that. Uh, but this young man is a, a young man who uh, lives the truth of that statement. If you would help me welcome Mr. Tim Alexander. 